Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be cutting up these beautiful three quarter by five by eight red cedar boards. Um, the first three logs we're gonna be cutting, um, they're gonna be, me and my dad are gonna be cutting them together. Uh, we're not cutting any faster, not cutting any slower than what we normally do. It's just average what me and him would normally cut when we're down here cutting together. Uh, we're not always cutting together. We work different times. He has other stuff that he does as well. Um, just kind of depends how big of orders I got and everything else if he's able to help definitely goes a lot faster than if it was just me but yeah after that we're gonna give you kind of a breakdown and give you some numbers of what I would normally or what we would normally cut when we're here cutting together board foot uh, how many board foot an hour and how many boards we got out of the three logs and stuff like that and uh, so yeah and also all the new followers thank you guys for following I want to welcome you to the channel my name is Tyler I'm the owner of Patton Woodworks. I just turned 20 a couple months ago. Um, kind of give me an idea. I started with a Norwood LM29. Um, I got into woodworking and somehow ended up with having a sawmill. Um, started with that, got it paid off. I love doing it. I thought, what better? What's better than doing something that you love and to get paid for it? So things have kind of exploded from there. I got an LT35 hydraulic right now. You guys can Two see. Two years ago, I have 714 hours on it right now. Um, absolutely love it for the most part. There's no nothing wrong with the sawmill at all. It's just starting to get with what I'm cutting. It's starting, I'm starting to wish I had something that's a little bit faster. The hydraulics are kind of slow. That's the thing that bothers me a lot. You guys will see me in the video. I have the log stacked up here. Um, you usually kind of roll them off the pile on here and then I'll set them up there by hand or me and my dad will both throw them up on throw them up on the bed when we're cutting cedar it really doesn't matter they're I mean they're light they are light but they're not depending on the size of the log but the hydraulics the loading arms just take so long and it drives me nuts when I'm trying to cut as fast as I can um, so yeah that speeds up the process but it also I mean more labor intensive obviously been and over picking up the logs and everything everything else is pretty fast i wish the head up and down and full or reverse was a little bit faster um like i said when i first started this thing was i mean i started with the norwood lm29 it was all manual this thing is run circles not even comparable to that thing um but yeah now i'm starting to get to the point with as much as i'm cutting where i'm starting to <laughs> want a lot of a little bit faster well, a lot of bit faster mill. Like I said, like I said, I just do this on the side. This is a side job, hobby kind of thing. I work full time, um, so my biggest thing is time. Um, having a mill that would cut twice as fast as this one—that's a lot more board feet. So, but it's also a lot more money. Um, in the end, yes, it would pay for itself. It just would take a little bit longer to pay for itself than this one. Um, Got a lot of decisions I'm thinking about. I don't know what's gonna happen yet. Um, definitely have to wait till spring one way or the other. But things are on my mind, I'll just say that. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, like I said, um, we'll get to these. That didn't come out right. Hmm. Let me think about that. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get started. Guys, also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Patton Woodworks. Um, I post more frequent stuff on there. So if you guys want to see pictures and stuff, of more of what we do, orders that we sell, stuff like that, give us a follow on Instagram and Facebook, Patton Woodworks. Thank you.
Alright guys, so I'm going to make a, uh, so this is the numbers I came up with off of those three lo first three logs that we cut. So out of the three logs that we cut, we got 26 three quarter by five by eights, and then we got 10 of the seconds. Um, we'll put those back on the mill and recut them into the same three quarter by five by eights. Brings us to a total of 36 boards. Now each one of these boards, um, a three quarter by five by eight is 2.5 board feet. So if we take the 36 boards total times the 2.5, that comes up with 90 board feet total for them three logs. Next, um, each log we average right around six minutes per log. Varied a little bit between 15 to 30 seconds between each log really. Um, that's average, it's not exact, by, but that's average, six minutes per log. So that's a total of 18 minutes for the three logs. And so if we take 90 board feet divided by the 18 minutes, that comes up with five board feet per minute. Next, if we take the five board feet times, or the five board feet per minute times the 60 minutes, that comes up with a grand total of 300 board feet per hour. Um, that's just an average. Everything would obviously not be exact, but that is the average of what I would cut on a normal day when we're cutting cedar. And yes, guys, I know the numbers are gonna vary. It makes a big difference with the size of the log and what dimensions we're cutting. Them are average size logs that we cut, and that's the most typical size board that I cut is a three quarter by five by eight. Um, like I said, them are pretty average size logs that we cut. If the bigger the log, the more board feet we're gonna get per per hour or whatever. Um, I know that's just this is an average, and I was just doing it to. Show you guys and kind of give you an idea of what we cut per hour. Uh, that's really the first time that I've ever actually sat down and uh, paid attention to that. But so I just thought it was kind of interesting to show you guys and let you, let you know so you kind of see how many board feet an hour we cut.
since I got this brand new moisture meter, shout out Ryan if you watch this video. Might as well try it out and see what these boards are. Seventeen point five. That's straight off the mill. We just cut these twenty minutes ago, so they dry down pretty quick. But just curious. Got this thing. I understand it's not going to read all the way through the board since it's just one of the ones that poke into it. But the outside is that one was 17.5 this one is a little higher this one is so yeah they're all around 17 ish pretty consistent thank you guys so much for watching the video i sure hope you liked it hope you got something out of the video learned something who knows Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below. Like the like button. Hit the like button. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll talk to you later.